Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Did you ever wonder if you could add a spotlight behind your model using Lightroom? Well, yes you can. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Yesterday I received an email from a young photographer asking me if there was any way in Lightroom to add a spotlight on the wall behind the head of a person that is in the photo. Like many young photographers, she can't afford a lot of different lights. And she had recently done a photo shoot and she had her model in front of a beige wall. And she just thought it looked kind of drab. There wasn't really enough separation and she wanted to add this kind of spotlight behind the head of her model. And I've actually, I actually did a video on this a few years ago. Since then, there have been some improvements in Lightroom that make it even easier to do. So yes, you could do it in Lightroom and it's actually super easy. What you need to do is just have a model like this. In this case, I have this image of the young lady in front of a, you know, seamless paper background. And I want to add that spotlight behind her head. So I'm going to get the radial filter and I'm going to turn exposure up and I'm, I want the feathering all the way up in invert uh, checkbox check. And then I'm just going to go right over her face and I'm going to draw the radial filter over her face. Now, if I want to do a perfect circle, hold the shift key in and you'll get a perfect circle. But in this case, I think we want something more like this, more like an oval. Now reposition it. So you could see that we have now the radial filter. It's brightening up her face, but it is brightening up the wall behind her as well. Now, the improvement they did in Lightroom since that last video I did is they now have range mask options. So we'll go down here where the range mask is, click that little drop down, and we want to use the color range mask. We're going to get the eyedropper tool and we're simply going to click on the background near her head. And when you do that, you'll see that it removed the radio filter from her face and hair, but it left the radio filter behind her so that we now, let me change this to auto. And so we now, let me put the eyedropper away. There we go. So there's before and there's after. There's before, after, and you could reposition it, draw it out further. If you wanted to go more over her shoulders, you could do that as well. But you could see how that simple spotlight behind your model just gives a little more separation uh, from your model in the background. And it's a very effective method to get a little more depth in your image. And I think it works well in this instance, and I'm sure it will work well for her too with her model in front of that beige wall. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.